All right, let's talk about Mac Jones, someone who I think is definitely a very interesting figure heading into this next season. Of Jones, obviously had a very good rookie year, but then year two, it was, quite frankly, it was a mess. And listen, uh, Matt Patricia was calling plays. So some people would just say Matt Patricia was calling plays. I don't care. Uh, let's move on. But, you know, there, it's things are always more complicated than that. So I wanted to go back, watch a good amount of tape, and see what I thought of Jones's performance and maybe uh, where he can go from here and what he can improve upon and how concerning was that year two. Is this a Baker Mayfield situation where it looked really promising after year one but then fell off? Or is this just a small blip in, in the, uh, you know, radar and this will end up being a very good career for Jones. Well, let's get into it. First, let's start off with this play. It's going to be zone coverage that the Raiders are in, and the route that you, uh, Jones is going to want to look towards is it's Tyquan Thornton running a route just towards the outside, and I'm not even sure if this is Jones's fault necessarily or uh, Thornton's fault. One thing I talked about uh, in a video I made about Thornton actually was how it seemed like Jones and Thornton just did not have the chemistry, so I wanted to bring it up in this video as well because it's a really important detail and you, you got to get the chemistry down if you're going to be you know playing together you have to be able to figure this stuff out where watch what happens when this play begins Jones is going to take the snap and right here you see that for Mac Jones uh it's going to be you know uh there's an opportunity to make this throw right there's a window you can see how this can work but really it seems like him and Thornton aren't on the same page Jones is expecting Thornton to continue running at a high speed towards the outside However, Thornton kind of stops right there, and the ball is thrown away. Again, you could look at that, certainly, and say, oh, that was just a missed throw from Mac Jones. But if you look a little more closely, you see that, no, that was actually a miscommunication from Mac Jones and from Thornton, which a lot of times, that's actually a, a tip to learn uh, and tip to remember when you're watching football, is a lot of times when you look at a throw and say, what was that? It's usually a miscommunication, not a missed throw. These guys are really accurate. They don't miss throws by 10 yards, right? They don't miss th throws by 5 yards or even by 2 yards, typically. They're really accurate. So usually when you see a you know, horrible miss, it's almost always a miscommunication. Not always, but a lot of times. Although going over here, we probably should talk about the Patricia of it all, right? Like that's probably fair to say. One of the things I didn't love about the Patriots is it felt like a lot of times they took the ball out of Mac Jones's hands and it didn't really amount to much. And in fairness, this play is going to do what it's designed to do. It's a second down and one quick screen pass. They're basically trying to guarantee they get the first down. And look, uh, Mac Jones takes a snap. He's going to quickly throw the ball over, and they, and, you know, they got the first down. But that was just about it. They only gained a couple yards on that play, three, in fact. Uh, so hey, I mean, hey, you got the first down, fine, whatever. But on a second down and one, bit of a cautious play there. A lot of times you like to take shots there. I think you can expect that you should be able to, with the you know uh, good running backs you have in the backfield, you should be able to convert on a third and one. Why not take a chance there? Uh, but even forget about that play. This just happened a lot, where you saw a lot. Of screen passes, a lot of, you know, just dump offs to the halfback design check downs, things of that nature, uh, which almost is what you do when you have like a quarterback that is just like objectively bad, which is obviously not the case with Mac Jones. He isn't a, a bad quarterback, even if he didn't have a great year last year. I feel like they kind of almost babied him last year more than they should have. And it, I think it hurt him more than it helped him. Some quarterbacks need to be able to kind of have a little bit of open space. Jones's whole benefit the whole reason people like Mac Jones the whole you know reason why you draft him is because he's a smart player that's kind of what he's known for he's not the you know not a physical specimen but is smart so when you run these plays that has basically or you know these one read plays which they were there was a good chunk of last year for the Patriots you're pretty much going away from what makes Mac Jones good like if you have a short fast receiver you don't have them run uh you know contested catch routes very frequently. You have them run deep routes and try to use their speed to get open, right? You play to your player's strength, especially when it's your quarterback. And I think that was a mistake that New England did last year and part of why Patricia won't be calling plays this following season. Again, stuff like this too, where it's going to be a, it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside. Uh, the chemistry thing wasn't just an issue with, uh, with Thornton. I want to be clear on that. It was a chemistry thing across the board. This team just did not look cohesive whatsoever, which again, if you're someone who blames the coaching, I think I would kind of agree that the coaching was at least in part a big issue here. Where watch what's going to happen on this play. Right when this play begins, Jones is going to make this throw and you see why. There looks to be some separation on the outside, a window for this throw to be made. 
made. So, okay, definitely take this chance and fire one here. However, again, the receiver kind of stops, whereas Jones throws it further deep. This just happened far too frequently to feel comfortable about. And I don't know if it's a, the fact that Jones didn't have as many first-team reps last year as he did the year prior. That's totally reasonable. I don't know. It's just a weird situation, and I don't really get why it happened, but that was definitely a big part of it. And there were also stuff like this, where what's going to happen on this play is it's going to be a zone coverage play, but that's actually a pretty, uh, you know, fascinating play, I would say. So it's going to actually be uh, a cover three zone that the Raiders are in, but you wouldn't know that from what you see on the screen right now. It's a disguise. They're trying to fool Jones, and this is actually where Jones tends to thrive, because the player who's going to be the deep safety on this play is currently lined up very far towards the offense's right. Because of that, when this play begins, you see that there is a huge gap in between the corner who's supposed to cover the left side of the, of the offense, so towards the bottom of the screen, versus the safety who's supposed to cover, cover over the middle. There's a huge gap. I mean, we're talking over half of the football field is open down the field. Jones notices this stuff. Again, this is where Jones thrives. Jones gets the ball down there quickly, and it is incomplete. There's just no denying Jones didn't have the help last season, and that was a huge issue and a big part of why the Patriots, I think, struggled. But what's funny is this play was the very next play where, okay, all right, fine. Uh, you know, a good play by Jones. It wasn't complete. Whatever. It is what it is. On this play, Jones takes the snap. There was a little underneath route under the coverage, and that one is dropped as well. Uh, so on this third down situation, which, listen, maybe you don't throw the check down on third down. I don't know. But he should have already had a first down because uh, he made a good play on the last one, and it didn't work out. So at the end of the day, uh, what I've always said is no quarterback looks good with a bad receiving core. Every single quarterback is going to look bad if you have a bad receiving core. Even Tom Brady himself, part of why he ended up leaving the Patriots was because they didn't have a great receiving core, and it made Brady look worse, and people thought that he was washed up. I mean, that that is what people thought when he left New England. People did not think he was still uh, going to be able to win Super Bowls after he left because the receiving core made him look worse. Now, I should also mention... Uh, this Patriots receiving core was not a disaster either. It, you know, PFF had them ranked as the 20th rated receiving core, but there were games where it was a disaster and the coaching didn't help it out uh, that much. So that's kind of how I view all of that. But what do you guys think? What were your thoughts on Mac Jones and his year two season? And can he get better heading into year three? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.